right up the back of this oh, one. Right 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 and Burt Myers, the number one car, fastest car on the property in the Wheel Modified Series. And Burt Myers, you called it with some issues out there. The car got, to, got away from him, got up into the fence of the outside safer barrier in turn three and four. And uh, brings that thing to a grinding call, some major front suspension damage on the number one car for Burt Myers. Broke loose coming out of three, went right up and hit the wall right in front of the sign that says the last red call. See it bounced off that and came down. Of course, they were just sitting out uh, down on the front stretch. And so, folks are taking a look at, uh, again, Burt Myers, but again, he is the fastest car. And 131.813, we're officially in a nationwide caution now here. Again, as practice continues with Bush's Beans 150. So this car is obviously tore up in this particular series. You go to the garage, is there a backup car? You done for the night? What, what happens? And well, let's watch the replay right here. Here's Burt Myers in the one. See the car down in the grip strip in three, and then the car moves out of the grip strip. I thought maybe he lost the tire, but he didn't. It, it just jumped out on him. And boy, he went solidly to the outside safer barrier. You can see it up here on Colossus TV right here. Uh, some major suspension damage on that car. That, that car is toast. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got a backup car in the trailer. Only his second start in the 2017 season. Myers, a former Southern Series champion, uh, but only his second start in 2017 in the NASCAR Wheeler Modified Series. And that, uh, that is not good. That's yeah, been very disappointing for Bert Myers. It was the fastest car out here. And of course, you see more Colossus. He's taking a look at his machine and seeing how significant is the damage. He's picking on that right side to get the walls you saw the replay of Colossus. So, uh, again, asking the question for first time fans do a lot of these folks have backups or, or how does that typically work if you run into a situation like this? Some, some of these teams do have backup cars. I'm not sure what Bert's status is. Uh, if they have a backup car in the trailer or not. This is obviously not a, a Man, we're so here. sorry, Bert. And I understand it was a failure of the left front brake. If you watch the replay here on Colossus once again. Yeah. So sorry, so Bert. In the suspension of the race car. And he is along for the ride. Then that has got to be the most sickening feeling in the world because you know it's going to hurt. The outside safer barrier, that takes away some of the impact. I mean, it's, it's still a hard surface to hit, but not quite as, hit, quite as a hit that if you uh, make contact with concrete. But uh, yeah, that baby is used up, or as uh, Barney would say to Andy, Andy, that's big. <laughs> Glad you're okay, Bert. At some point, you don't pull a quote out of Andy Rivers. Uh, uh, Andy, that's big, 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 big. So anyway, Bert Myers. Thank God, God you're okay. We hope he's okay, and certainly his car is not. And so they're getting ready to put it up on the hauler. And we have stopped practice here again for the Bush and Beans 150 momentarily as we attend to the uh, machine that's crumpled on the front stretch here at Bristol Motor Speedway. See the physicians over there at the Wellmont Care Center. So uh, always, a, always a safe practice, always a good thing. Well, we've got a chance as preview tomorrow night's event. It's the 30th anniversary, fans. The Food City Family Race Night in downtown Bristol gets underway at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, continues until 9 o'clock tomorrow night. $5 advance tickets right now at any Food City locations. Tickets will be 6 bucks day of. And again, Food City Family Race Night. I love what they do. They're always getting back to the community. Food City Family Race Night has contributed over $557,000 in event proceeds over the past 30 years. This year's proceeds will benefit Theater Bristol and the Bristol Ballet. And so Food City, again, uh, the Food City Family Race Night downtown Bristol, they walk off the streets. It's a big, for lack of a term, big party. And it's a great party. Lots of good things going on down there. Here are some of the folks who are scheduled to be there tomorrow night. Eric Amarola, Derry Cope, Chris Busher, Ben Rhodes, Elliot Sadler, Eric Jones, young man who just recently signed with Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, again, John Hunter Nemechek, Grant Enfinger from the Truck Series. Morgan Shepard, Ryan Truex, William Byron, some of the folks going to be down there tomorrow night. All kinds of live entertainment. We'll tell you more about that coming up. But again, uh, even the head football coach of East Tennessee State, Carl Torbush, and some of his football players, and a local author by the name of David McGee will be down there tomorrow night. Again, signing books as well. I love that for a selfish plug. Never heard of it. In need of camping or tailgating supplies, Food City has you covered with one of our six locations conveniently located near the track. 
Stop in today and we'll be happy to assist you with all of your race day supplies, fuel and pharmacy needs, all at super low prices from your friends at Food City. Do you like saving money? Of course you do. And with Food City exclusive brands like Food Club, Top Care, and Simply Done, you can enjoy 100% of the quality at a price up to 30% less than national brands. You get more for your money. That makes you a power shopper. Food City. Value every day. Grab a partner. Head over to the fan zone and enter the Mead Tractor Charity Cornhole Classic. Toss your chance at some great prizes. Qualifying tournaments will run and be held on Friday and Saturday. The grand prize, $1,000 cash. Food City, proud to serve as the exclusive retailer for many of the region's favorite brands, including Kay's Ice Cream, Kern's Bread, Lane Meats, Terry Snack Foods, and Moore's Potato Chips. So stop at your local Food City today and choose from a complete line of top quality traditional favorites along with some exciting new varieties. Don't forget to stop by your Food City Gas and Go and take advantage of Win Wednesday. For a limited time, Food City Gas and Go customers can redeem 300 value points to receive 30 cents off per gallon of any brake fuel up to 20 gallons or 5% off your next grocery order all day, every Wednesday. Food City, value of every day. Around the table and at the truck, race fans choose Bush's Beans to complete the perfect meal. From a race day cookout to a hearty chili on Tuesday night, whatever you're cooking up, We've got a bean for you. Find great recipes and meal ideas at bushbeans.com. We realize you have a lot to do in preparation for upcoming events and get together, and Food City is excited to offer online ordering. Simply visit foodcity.com to pre order your party trays, cakes, tailgating supplies, floral centerpieces, and fresh fruit baskets. Your order will be prepared and ready for pickup when you arrive. Also, try our new go-kart curbside grocery pickup available at select Food City locations. Save time and effort by pre-ordering online at foodcity.com. Saving money is easier than ever with Value Points. Earn one Value Point for every dollar you spend. Plus, receive bonus Value Points on participating items qualifying prescriptions, and participating gift cards. For every 150 Hi. value points you redeem, you'll get 15 cents off per gallon at Food City Gas & Go. You can also redeem your value points for discounts on your groceries. Save 5% on your next grocery order when you redeem 300 value points. For a limited time only, really? some restrictions do apply. Please see store or visit foodcity.com.